Space rocket for engine test. Confirming safety measures. And yes, handbrake is applied. So I guess flying a rocket is basically the same as being in a rodeo. Your atom scrambled by a teleport kind of tickles. It looks like this track's got a hole in it. Sheesh! Glad my watch doesn't take a battery this size. Ah. 
Now to find some way of getting all those workers out of the hangar. I guess destroying those computers wasn't the answer.
Yep, that might get their attention. I hope that vent up there leads to the hangar. Whoa! Power levels have dropped off the scale. All engineering staff return to the control room and check systems. I repeat, all engineering staff return to the control room. I wonder if my driving license covers space rockets. Ellie, how do I get the moon buggy out of the shuttle? There should be a button you can press to open its delivery bay. And that'd need power to work, right? Yeah. Why? I think I broke the power supply back there. And now the control room is full of people. Right. Hang on. It's okay. There should be some high-powered lasers in the hangar. You can use them to power up the shuttle. Wow. There is literally nothing you can't find with these online encyclopedias. Okay. Anything else I should know? The annual rainfall in Lego City? Thanks, Ellie. Laser 1, connected.
Laser 2, connected. Limited shuttle systems, activated. It's not your car. You are so possessive. Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his. Come on! Chan's men better be waiting for me at the dock! Driver, bad news. My men aren't waiting for you at the dock. Yeah, I can see that. They're running late. And by running late, I mean... Still sat here on their behinds! <gasps> oh, they've actually gone. <gasps> Who am I going to shout at now? They'll be here soon, right? I guess so. Just don't let the moon buggy get damaged until they get there. Oh, I'm going out to the street so I can yell at some strangers. See you, driver.
Attention, this is security. Everyone return to base. Driver, bad news. My men aren't waiting for you at the dock. Yeah, I can see that. They're running late. And by running late, I mean... Still sat here on their behinds! Oh, they've actually gone. <gasps> Who am I going to shout at now? They'll be here soon, right? I guess so. Just don't let the moon buggy get damaged until they get there. Oh, I'm going out to the street so I can yell at some strangers. See you, driver. That sounded expensive. It's about time, guys. We'll take it from here. Don't follow us. McCain, are you anywhere near downtown? Uh, sure, Chief. Why? We got reports that a gang is trying to abduct Forrest Blackwell. They've got him on top of a building near the downtown science museum. I'm on my way, Chief. Has backup been dispatched? Yes, but by the time they get there, it'll be too late. So hurry up! 
I really don't want to get on the wrong side of Forrest Blackwell. If you aren't there soon, I'll bust you down so low that you'll have to salute police dogs! Sorry, police business. Yowzers! business. I need to find a blue color swapper. I mean, other than my abductors. Oh. 
stop him! See how cool that was? Dave! Dave! Whoa! Look! An awning! If this was an action movie, someone would fall onto that. Whoa! Ow! That really smarts. Could my day get any worse? <clears throat> Merciful heavens above! Help at last! Arrest these men! Get him! That's right. You show him what for. That was a good bunch of twos. Ha! He won't soon forget that hiding. Yeah! Thank you, young man. I thought my fate was sealed. Now while I'm on duty, sir. They may have reinforcements, so we ought to leave here at once. My car should still be nearby.
Sorry we're late, Chase. Not that it looks like you needed our help. Young man, I should feel a lot safer at the police station. Would you mind driving me? I'm still rather shaken. Go on. I'll call the chief and tell him you got Mr. Blackwell down safely. We'll stay here and round up the gang members. Thank you. I'm dreadfully sorry. I haven't even asked your name. I'm Chase. Chase McCain. Uh, we've never met before. Chase McCain. Well, what a tiny world we live in. You know, I was only recently talking to an acquaintance of mine about you. About all the effort you went to in arresting Rex Fury. He doesn't think Chief Dunby did that? Oh, no. Some of us have a far clearer view of those events, unmuddied by spin. Such a pity if Rex got out again. Who knows what fiendish things he's up to. Yeah. So, who were those men back there? Environmental activists, no doubt. They don't care for me at all. Why don't they like you? You don't know. I thought everyone did. Simply an unfortunate misunderstanding that I have put completely behind me. The main thing is, you're safe now. Yes. I must have a word with my security people. Well, this is nice. Lovely day for a drive. We're here. Mr. Blackwell, I, I am so relieved you're safe. I can barely sleep. Thank you again, Chase. You sleep during work hours. Well, uh, uh, let me take you inside. Thank you. Farewell, Chase McCain. I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> oh, that rhyme. driver must have been good to avoid that. Uh. Uh. 
Natalia! I... I might, I repeat, might, need your help. I couldn't find my dad in any of Chan's other offices. So... I decided to try a salvage yard, and now I'm stuck in here. What? I was desperate. It is my dad, Chase. What if Chan catches you? That won't happen. I'm completely hidden. <gasps> hey, whose feet are sticking out from behind my curtains? Help! Natalia? Natalia! Uh. Ellie, I need a favor and the Chief cannot know about it. Name it. Natalia's in trouble at Chan's junkyard and I'm gonna need backup to get her out. Natalia Kowalski? What are you up to? It's a long story. Can you help? Sure. I know a couple of officers who don't mind going behind the Chief's back. I'll tell them to meet you outside the salvage yard. And I'll get them to bring a disguise. We don't want Chan recognizing you. Thanks, Ellie. You don't know how much this means to me. What's going on? Sounded expensive. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. my backup. You're meant to be here by now. <laughs> hey, Chase. Okay. Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? Clutch, Studsky, thanks for this. Natalia's in Chan's salvage yard. The chief arrested some of his gang earlier, but he's still got a lot of heavies in there. Do you have a disguise for me? Do we ever? <laughs> that is perfect, Studsky. Really? They belong to our friend Huggy. He has no sense of personal space. Let's go rescue this girl. Come on! I'm gonna have to take these things off. I know those two. They're cops. Yo, go and warn the bus. I guess the softly, softly approach.